welding instructors across the country are facing a lot of challenges. Everybody is doing the best that they can with what they've got. Weld Labs can come in and just integrate into whatever environment that they're working in. Like we don't need a facility with state-of-the-art equipment to go in and teach people how to weld. The moment I stepped in the shop, I realized how much this school needed me here. It needed a, a, a special type of person to take on the task at hand of kind of revamping their welding class. Chris and I were in the Air Force together. So we both worked on F-16s. What another perfect person to go out and do weld labs with just to kind of further support, you know, the work that they're doing. The biggest thing kind of going into having weld labs come out was making sure I had an open mind and made sure that my students also had an open mind and were going to be you know like little sponges like when Nate and Rush came in. And so you're not hitting this roof. We're in a new shop, so we're constantly analyzing and trying to figure out, like, how can we jump in and help? There's like a certain excitement that that brings, and it keeps on building and building and building. Nice and tight, nice and tight. You may be in the welding industry for 20 years, you still don't know everything. And someone might be able to give you a hint that's gonna really help you. Like a Tom Altiner's doing a ways to skin a cat. You gotta find the easiest one. One of the big things with Weld Labs is we want to challenge a lot of the industry, this is the way that we've always done it type stuff. Nate and I had a talk yesterday about some stuff. Those boxes that young welders get put in end up hindering them in their careers. Nate pulled me to the side and said, I see that they're doing curse of ease and I see that they're doing a lot of rod manipulation, a lot of torch manipulation. And I said, well, yeah, I, <laughs> of course they are. Quite simply, he just goes, well, it's wrong. We're no longer gonna do that. We're just gonna try to do these nice straight lines. A lot of times it gets roadblocked right there. That arc is a cone and it's gonna kind of bend. Somebody that's done it a certain way for a really long time, they're like, well, we got this figured out. We don't wanna change anything. A lot of times as welders, we wanna go in and we wanna feel like we are the ones working. So we wanna manipulate it. We wanna do those cursive ease. We wanna do those zigzags. But at the end of the day, if you just stop, adjust your machine accordingly and just lay it in there, it's gonna be a much more beautiful bead, a stronger bead and one that you can rely upon. We can't be just training our students to go and do what everybody else has always done because people are afraid to challenge the norm. I say challenge the norm, but back it up with science, back it up with the facts, test it, verify it, and if it works, then do it.